Admittedly, 2023 was a year of massive failure, failure for yours relentless. I give myself a F minus in almost every area of my life, in almost one or two areas or goals that I had. It's just amazing how much failure we have if we're honest and candid with ourselves. And we look back at the wins and the losses. Failure is part of the process. It's part of the goal getting. It's part of world building. It's part of our goal to build the world of our dreams. But there's a lot of areas in 2023 that I give myself an F minus. Um, there are situations in my marriage where I give myself on certain days an F minus. Uh, there are certain areas of health and fitness. Getting to the gym, I give myself an F minus. I've already corrected that heading into a brand new year. Um, there's areas with our business marketing, Mark Andre and Leanne. We launch products that were an F minus failure. Uh, there were certain parts of our business which were epic failures. I had to take the swift sword to certain programs, certain courses. You have your big, like in, in all of 2023, no other entrepreneur or coach will ever share their losses. But in 2023, we had one, one home run, one home run. And the rest were singles. We had a couple of doubles, we didn't have any triples, and we had a lot of strikeouts in 2023. We had a lot of strikeouts as business entrepreneurs. Um, there were lots of situations where I failed as a, uh, as a leader of my team, where I failed, made mistakes with Mark Andre, made mistakes with Leanne. I give myself uh, an F minus on several days as a founder, as an entrepreneur, as a business leader. Um, there was wins, there were, you know, losses, but lots of days where I came up short. Same thing as a father, lots of days where um, I was disconnected as a father when I should have had both feet in today. So I give myself a uh, an F minus on a handful of days as a dad. Um, so lots of, lots of failing in 2023 and lots of times where I was sick to my stomach with losing. I look at all those situations as losing. When I don't show up as the leader of my family, when I don't show up on a certain day as a, as a husband, if I don't show up as a father, if I don't show up and sell things for our business, or I don't get to the gym, or I don't get my walk in, or I don't get my operation money suck done, or I talk negatively to myself, or I eat the wrong foods, any of these things, that's sick to my stomach. That's sick to my stomach losing. But progress starts with the truth. All progress starts with the truth. So if I'm not willing to be truthful with myself and give myself real grades, if you deserve an A plus, you give yourself an A plus. If you deserve a C minus, you give yourself a C minus. But in these situations on certain days, I deserve an F minus. And I can't make the corrections I need to make if I'm not clear as kind. So I give myself F minuses on certain days, on certain weeks, and then it gives me the opportunity to progress forward, my goal getting, uh, my world building in a brand new year because now I know what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with the truth. I'm not uh, delusional. I'm not, I'm not pretending the things are better than they are. I'm just using the power of accurate thinking. This is what I need to do. This is what I learned from these failures. And this is what I'm gonna do uh, moving forward to improve a little bit, to get a little bit wiser, to get a little bit faster, to get a little bit smarter in the new year. And this is what I'm gonna help you do this Thursday 
It's a, uh, it's a free uh, goal getting, world building, two hour masterclass, webinar, whatever the hell you want to call it. And literally, it'll be the most valuable two hours that you invest in your entire year. Um, it's, it's for my top 1% champion mastermind members. It's for my top 5% world building mastermind members. It's for my Michael McLean newsletter, brothers and sisters. It's for my email millions, brothers and sisters. It's for my entire, entire list. It's the whole fam damnly this Thursday. I love the energy that something like this brings, where you're bringing the best of the best together. It's almost like an all-star game that I used to coach in hockey or a prospects game where the energy is unbelievable. Unbelievable because you're bringing in the best of the best from all your different tribes, from all your different groups, from all your different teams. So sign up below, there's only 200 lines and get yourself ready. You're gonna need uh, pens, paper, recipe cards, those three by three index cards. And this is gonna be interactive. It's not gonna be me preaching and teaching. It's gonna be me and you interactive, putting a badass world building plan together that's actually gonna work this year. But for God's sakes, okay, forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made this year. Forgive yourself, learn from them. There's winning and there's learning. There's not winning and losing. There's winning and there's learning. So learn from your mistakes like I am. If you deserve an F minus in a certain area of your life, give yourself an F minus. And then this Thursday, fix the problem. Fix the problem. That's what I'm doing. So forgive yourself, give yourself a break, let yourself up off the mat. If there was a quarter of this year that wasn't up to your expectations, wasn't up to your standards, so what? You have a brand new slate coming up January 1st. You have a fresh start. What does a husband, a father, a grandfather, or an entrepreneur, entrepreneur need more than a fresh slate? Nothing. We've got a brand new page and you'll write the story. But you gotta give yourself a break. You gotta forgive yourself. You gotta stop living in the past. You gotta stop living in the future. And you need to attend this Thursday training. Give yourself the gift of a mental kick in the pants. That's what this Thursday is about at 1.59 uh, p.m. It's a mental kick in the pants to get you going and to turn those, you know, C's and D's and F's into winning grades this year. But it starts with you forgiving yourself, giving yourself a break, cut yourself some slack and get ready. Make sure that nothing in this year bleeds into the next. Nothing in this year bleeds into the next. You have a fresh start, a clean slate in the new year. Make sure you're ready to go. This Thursday at 1.59, we're going to put a plan together. When, you, when, you, when you're done the two-hour training, you're going to be 80% of the way ready to hit the ground running in the brand new year. Forgive yourself. Put it behind you. Learn from your mistakes. If you had areas of your life like I did where you, where you failed, look at it as a learning experience. What did I learn from this? What do I need to do differently? What can, I, what can I do differently next time? How can I make sure that I don't repeat mistakes? And that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to share the, the three secrets to goal getting and building a world in 2024 that you do not have to escape from. You can build it any way you want it. You can build it any way you want it. A world that you do not need to vacation from, escape from. And I'm telling you, these are the only three things you have to do in the new year. Not 10 things or 25 things. Simplicity is king. The three secrets that I've used for the last 20 years to build the badass world of my dreams each and every year. With goal getting 
and world building, you got to do it every year. You got to reset and you got to build it every year. You got to reset in December and you got to build it new every year. That's what we're going to do this Thursday. There's only 200 lines. Make sure you sign up below, block out two hours. And I look forward to turning uh, any of your low grades uh, into winning grades this coming Thursday at 1.59 per, uh, uh, p.m. Eastern. Forgive yourself today. Forgive anybody else in your life that needs forgiveness. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself, your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, and start with a clean slate this coming Thursday. Two words that'll change your life, two words that have changed my life. Be relentless.